Secretary of State Ken Bennett's office tells me they're going to look into the allegations that these robocalls are deceiving voters. The ditches might seem empty right now, but several hours ago, they were filled with cars. This is what I'm hearing from neighbors out here, and you're not going to hear this from anybody else tonight. All right, here we go. Just how serious it is and hard it is to put out. Firefighters have switched to using a special foam that they're raining down on top of this fire. This gulf is as deadly as it is beautiful. Countless ships have found their graves at its bottom. That's fun. Some are going to go home, but they told me they'll be back out here in the morning to keep going every day until their demands for change are met. Right now, we're getting reports of a girl suffering from extreme heat exhaustion. She's barely responding, so we're on our way to see if we can not help her out. Chris, let me tell you, we had more than 1,000 people lined up outside this Toys R Us waiting to get in. So as soon as those doors opened, it was like a flood. $21 million, that's how much money is now on its way to Arizona State University and the U of A. If I was a medical marijuana patient, I would be entitled to 12 plants all to myself. That's about as much as you're seeing all around me here. However, if I was also licensed to grow marijuana for other patients, I could have as much as six times this amount. Folks around here tell me the worst time is at night when all the winds die down, giving that smoke on top of the mountain you see right there a chance to settle down and get into the city itself and into people's homes. One important question is people going to the Grease Festival tomorrow, <laughs> are they going to want to, you know, maybe put some mittens or a hat on? I'm Steve Kooch. Coming up in the Fast 15, the people of Flagstaff, Arizona are hit by one of the worst floods any of them can remember. And DPS explaining to me that that death was the result of drivers on the road here on I-10 going too fast, following too close to the person in front of them, because as soon as this dust hit, Katie, visibility was zero. It dropped in an instant. The next big traffic problem is going to come from all this melted snow, because come tonight, it's not going to stay melted for long. It's going to freeze over, turn into ice, making this road once again very slippery and very dangerous. Let me show you what we're doing right now. You can actually see our mask. We have it down as low as possible, just to avoid getting struck by lightning or anything like that, because these masks shoot up about, you know, 20 feet into the air and our perfect lightning rods conductors which makes it very dangerous for us reporters and photographers just being out here in the field so yes as you said we're trying to stay as safe as possible in this weather